Hey everyone, Hot and Stinky, welcome back to Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition. So the last episode, we got our brothers done, uh, to help with collectibles. Uh, we spoke with Blackroot. And uh, now we're able to collect stone bites. We got some Book of the Dead pages and as well, uh, Bowman coins, and we started the Drench Fort. So now our goal is to complete the Drench Fort. And along with uh, the boss fight. Boss fight. Uh, I think we actually got to go out this way. This way. This way. Uh, audio seems like it's cleared up. I'll be checking in with it. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Yes, I know how to swim. I did not make a video yesterday. I uh, was going to, uh, but we have plans to go have dinner, so going out to dinner instead. But I'll be uploading this today, and then we're going to do one tomorrow as well. And also as well, too, guys, if you like the content, go ahead and I like the video, subscribe, I definitely do appreciate it. Oh, that's Axe. That's Axe. That might be better. Can't pick that up. I gotta go the other way now. Back into the water. Come on, Death. more collectibles in here. And then we'll speak to Alia, whatever her name is. Fight? Yep, knew it. Stupid prowler. I see you up there, buddy. Dude, them coming down the pillars like that just reminds me of the orc or the goblins or whatever from uh, Lord of the Rings. When they're in the mind of Moria trying to escape. Come on. I always use more wrath potions. Oh, this is where the... I think it's in this one. In one of the crates is the... Is where the boatman coin is. Oh, do I not have enough wrath? Ah, oh, shit. You don't have enough of anything. I don't need, I don't need the ghouls. I'll teach you how it's done. Copy again. And I'm clearing up. I don't know what's going on. Might be my headset that's causing it, but I don't know. Uh, tomorrow's my day off. Oh, that's the Bowman coin. Tomorrow's my day off, so I'll just go get some new ones tomorrow and see what's up. See if that does anything. Where are we going? That's where we came from, right? Oh, oh. Defense, don't care. Go. And it looks like we have a locked door. Not what I want to do. Can't do anything down there anyways. Locked door. We gotta go this way. So let's. There is a bookman book of the dead page. You can. We're gonna be filling this room up with water, so you can get it then. 
and swim across, or you can just jump over like I did. Either way works. We're gonna be back in this room anyways, cause... Oh, 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 execution move. Another one, oh, I missed it. We're gonna be back in this room anyways, cause... Boom, Boatman coin. So we can't do anything right now. to raise the water like we did in the last room. Come on, death. What the fuck? Door is locked. We gotta go this way. So it is Friday. Oh no, it's fuck. It's Saturday. I have my days all mixed up. Everyone's having a great weekend so far. Hope you guys are being safe. My weekend is just starting. Oh no, no, Ed, oh, that doesn't really matter. Oh uh, no, no. I don't see a nest, so we're fine. Come on. Feel the wrath of my hammer, bitch. And it looks like we got ourselves another little puzzle. Alright. Uh, which way do we want to go first? I think we want to go this way. I see, I see a couple of chests. Of chests if I have those. Nope, I did that wrong. Just act like you didn't see that. And it just looks like I know exactly what I'm doing. Man, not really getting anything for loot. That fucking sucks. I'm not going to be using anything with defense. Chances are I'm going to sell them. Not gonna do anything with them. I won't even. I won't even put them into a possessed weapon. That's how useless they are. Well, so let me just take a look here. Fifty, fifty-six. We'll do that one. Oh shit! I got a lot of fucking weapons. See, secondary fills up like crazy. We'll use this one. And, uh, we can use that now, adding, that boosts our arcane, that also boosts our arcane, so we'll use that one, these don't do anything for us, these hurt our arcane, and that does a nice boost, so we'll go ahead and do that one. All right. Uh, so yeah, because uh, I am focusing on the Necromancer, I'm going to be dealing with anything that's arcane, arcane critical damage, arcane critical chance. That's going to help my wrath abilities and like my ghouls, and later on uh, when I get crows, anything that I do with my wrath abilities, those going to increase them pretty much make me unstoppable so first part of our puzzle we got to get this ball up so it's just going to be like the cauldron so we're going to be doing a shadow bomb dislodge Oh, crap. 
That came unexpectedly. Alright. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. See, that's what that's what's terrible about the gun. Death just becomes so fucking stiff. You have to be careful with what you're doing because you are definitely gonna die. Fall off a cliff cliff, not even realize it. Alright, here we go. Some of our ghouls. And then use our possessed axe. I think that's what it is, right? And make sure we get our money. How much we got? Someone six thousand? Probably sell some shit after this. Maybe. Right, damn. Just like that, the second one is done. Now we still gotta go back to that other room and get our Buttman coin. So this may be a short episode. Well, no, we're going to go back to Trash Town, do whatever talking we need to do. Get that out the way. And then after that, I think it's on to the next dungeon. I totally got twisted around from where I was. Let's just jump up here. Oh, right, right, right. We got to go this way. We gotta unlock that door, so we gotta go here anyways. So you could have swum across, got Book of the Dead page. That's why we don't have to jump up tight. We're gonna pull the switch first, then we'll get Boatman coin. I'm not even sure which one it is. 24, 25? Where are we at with the Boatman coins? 24. I mean, I can always double check the guide to see if I missed any, but this is not a 100% walkthrough. Even though this game should be a 100% walkthrough, just because I played it so many goddamn times. But I know I'm gonna miss something. I always do. Bam, the waters are flowing. Alright, so the next thing now is the boss fight. Dun 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 dun. I think we got some enemies here to fuck with. No? Okay, I don't want none. Thought they respawned. Don't worry about it, there's nothing in this room. Just water. And there's our boss. It's actually a pretty easy fight. The giant one, though, I think it's what it's called. Giant Earth Crag. Oh, it's Krakenos. Let's do it. So that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna be an idiot, stun himself. God damn it! Alright, I should have just killed that other one. So he's just gonna stun himself. Now we just gotta wait for him to do it again. I say it's not that hard of a boss fight and I get fucked over. So it's gonna be just like the ball, we're just gonna boom, roll. Oh, some of my ghoulies here take care of the earth crag. Wow, 
Death Ghost Ham Sandwich on the Park Notes. Uh, dude, this boss fight, boss fight should, uh, level us up. I think we'll be level four or five. Summon those again. Hopefully we can, oh shit, yeah. I was hoping to get enough wrath, but. It's fine. We'll just use a wrath potion. Not a big deal. I hate this part. Just make sure you dodge and don't do a triple. That will get you stuck in that or hit. Shit. Where's the... Where to fall? Where to fall? There it is. So we probably have to do this two more times. I think we should be able to do this two times. They take care of the Earth Crag. Boom. Yep, two times we couldn't get it done. He's not even taking any damage. I'm doing the fucking three. And I see, I did three and I got screwed over. I didn't even listen to my own advice. Come on, come on, death. I ain't worried about that earth crab. We got that. Boom! And Karkonos meets the Reaper. I didn't even read that. Uh, Master of Karkonos. According to legend, this hammer was recovered from the horde of a mighty sea dragon. This weapon was wielded in savage battle at the fortress of Karkonos, and it was severely thunderous. And it was severe. Se and it was several. And it was several thunderous blows from the hammer that finally broke down the gate. Named the Master of Karkonos, this weapon strikes critical blows more often and unleashes devastating critical strikes upon the enemy. And on top of that, we leveled up. And then we can let loose the Tears of the Mountain. Let's take a look at our newest weapon. What was that? I know, I just... No, it doesn't do anything. Let's take a look here at our skill tree. Uh, we're not going to get into that yet. Let's... Uh, let's increase their health. Let's take a look at our new weapon. I do. Oh, I can't even use it. What do I need to be? Level 7. I'm a level 6. But I do need to sell some of those. I'll do that off screen. Uh, vendor stuff can be very boring and tedious. No reason to have that. Bam, now we just have to go back to Alia. Dry stone. Yeah, this is going to be a short episode. Next episode, we're going to, I think, well, we have another dungeon to go to, but we're going to do some cleanup stuff. We're going to backtrack a little bit. Stain, have anything to say? Uh, out with it, horseman. Tell when you've come to boast. The forge has been restored. <laughs> Aye, and Alia ran round the village the moment the waters reached us, giggling like a two thousand year old. <laughs> no, it's a right. Not gonna fight him yet. Gonna wait a little bit longer. Does she have anything to say? Yeah, but next episode we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking. We're gonna get the stones that we missed on our way. Nothing. Uh, the stones that we missed on our way to the cauldron. We didn't have the quest or the gun. 
at that time. So we're going to back up to that. And then I think... We'll probably do a side mission to round it out. Karn's not here. I thought Karn was here. Construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the Foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The Constructs are awake. You really need to know what it does. Well, we already know what it does. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul of one? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I no, it doesn't trouble me. Construct. Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by the Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul, just enough to drive them and give purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even the stone can bear it. I was trying to get all the talking out the way before we move forward. Sadly, the wardens were called when the steels were broken. The makes told to be paid at the end of war. This warden is all that remains. Mm -hmm. Then the seals were broken. Oh. I'm gonna talk to Alia real quick. Crack the right button. Forge blazes again, Raider, thanks to you. But that's no excuse to hang about. Have you not a construct to awaken? Don't tell me what I need to do and what I don't need to do. I already know I need to awaken a construct. Jeez. I'm sure, this key is special. Valus doesn't seem so impressed. Aye. He mourns the loss of his friend. Valus had a friend? Oh, aye. His great hammer, splinter bone. It felled many a giant. But Valus lost it in a dungeon west of here, and it weighs heavy upon him. If you can find Splinterbone and return it to my brother, you will earn his gratitude. Mayhaps the forging of a proper weapon. Didn't, uh, didn't the other guy tell us more about the key? Spirit doesn't pass through stone, unless you carve a channel for it. That's what the key is for. It's sharp enough to slide through the stuff of life. Be careful where you point it. What was Valus doing in a dungeon? We hope to restore the shattered forge within, but it was corrupted and overrun by the sea and vermin. We barely escaped with our lives, no thanks to Khan. Oh, that stupid pup. Did let that pup guide you? Aye. At the time, we did not see the harm, but Khan would do anything to prove himself. I fear one day he will go too far. You will find All the right. Past the fjord. The stone that is going to be our next. That's our little side quest. 
We're gonna get this stone bite real quick. Come on, come on, there we go. All right, so the question for Valister just told us about is over here. Boom, where I got stuck in the last episode. So in the next episode, where do I have to go actually? That's the next quest. Okay. Yeah, so we're not going there. That's the next main quest. So, next episode, we're going to make our way through here. Grab stone bites. We're going to come all the way down here. All the way up to the scar. Collect the many stone bites. Then we're going to head back on over to the fjord. And we're going to come right on over to this area and speak with the construct and do his side quest as well. Uh, collect any of those limbs that are around the ground and another side quest you request from us. Maybe well, if we have time, we'll be able to do that tomorrow too. And then on Monday, we'll head into the nook. All right. So guys, that will do it for this episode. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. I definitely do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you guys have, you know, I hope it's fun and safe. And uh, I'll see you back on Sunday tomorrow for another episode of Dark Siders 2: The Death Initiative Edition. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.